New Zealand's first legal weed has arrived in pharmacies. Cannabis buds from Australia have been approved from the Ministry of Health to be used only as a tea, and eligible patients with chronic pain must have a prescription. Karen Rutherford has the details. It's weed and it's legal, approved as pain relief in a teacup. Just across the Tasman, they've had dried flour available to be prescribed by doctors uh, for at least the last two or three years. So, yeah, we've been, we've been waiting a long time for this. Medicinal cannabis advocate Pearl Schomburg made sure she was at the top of the list. Like many with chronic pain and anxiety, she can now legally ask her doctor for the dried cannabis flowers just in from Australian manufacturer ANTG. It's just a very calming feeling that comes over. I actually started to feel it after the second puff. The Ministry of Health says New Zealand's first legal weed is only approved for use as a tea, but that's unlikely how it'll be used. I suspect a large proportion of patients uh, will go on to use it as a, um, uh, using a medical, medically registered vaporiser or maybe even smoke it. The Hamilton pharmacist believes many of his 1,100 patients already using approved CBD products will shun the cupper idea. Tea can take up to an hour to absorb. But does the instant relief from vaporising mean we'll see more patients getting stoned? If they wanted to get stoned, yeah, of course they could do that. They could, they could uh, double the dose, they could triple the dose. But that's no different to any other medication that we prescribe. So whether it's morphine or tramadol. It's just a matter of um, education. MedSafe is reminding doctors of their responsibilities and the need to keep patients informed. It says use of this cannabis product by inhalation would present an increased risk due to the levels of microbial contamination. Access to this legal weed won't be easy. Doctors will have to heavily screen patients to ensure they don't have a history of mental health issues or psychosis, and it won't be cheap. Around $220 to $250 for 10 grams, that's double what you'd pay through a dealer on the black market. While this flower contains less than 1% THC, others due on the market this year will contain much more. And with around 70% of Kiwi doctors still reluctant to prescribe medicinal cannabis, it could be hard to come by. Karen Rutherford, News Hub.